Hi, this is Erica with Refine Your Way of Life. And today I was going to come to you from my backyard, but my neighbor's dog won't stop barking. Hi, this is Erica with Refine Your Way of Life. And today I am coming to you from my backyard. And, and I want... So I'm standing in my living room and I'm about to head out to the backyard, but I would like to talk about weddings and specifically setting up your reception table. What I have found from my experience, and I am an event planner in the Memphis area, but what I have found from my experience is that when you go to certain venues, they usually don't have tablecloths, and if they do, they will have all white or all black. So I wanna look at the white tablecloth today Day and look at some different ways that we can style it so that you can use the venues tablecloths and still save money one way that we can style a white tablecloth is to add an overlay or a runner I want to look at some runners in a few different colors and play around with some things that I have in the house and see how we can style this white tablecloth. Keep in mind that it is April of 2020 and we are still quarantined. So I am using items that I have found from around my house, but I think these tables are going to look great. Don't forget that once you finish watching the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below letting me know what you would like to see more of and subscribe to my page. Thank you. I am starting here with a plain white tablecloth and it is smaller than your standard banquet size tablecloth that you would normally have. But I view this tablecloth as a blank canvas. You have a clean slate. It's like a blank canvas and you can layer in as many things as you would like, kind of like an artist. So you could add an overlay or a runner. You can add candles, flowers, chargers or whatever you may desire today i have three different table runners that i will use and play around with there are so many different variations on the table runner that you can use there are so many different colors and then you can have sequin rosette damask but today i'm going to start with a gold solid color table runner Again, please keep in mind that I was not able to go to the store or to the florist to shop for these items. So I am strictly using items that I found around my house. Again, this table is a little smaller than a standard size banquet table. So this is the first layer and I really like the gold with the white. I love these candle holders that I have on the table because they're gold, but they have little mirrors on them. So they pick up all of the colors that surround them. I think the gold chargers add in a little bit of elegance to the table as well. So this gold is kind of like our base color and I think it looks really pretty, but you can always add in accent colors by adding a napkin or adding different colors of flowers or candles or whatever you may desire. I ordered a sample pack of invitations from Shutterfly and I will be using some of those throughout the video just to show you the different types of invitations and colors that you could incorporate into this design. I love the color navy blue and I think it's a really nice fall color. So I have some navy blue napkins and I'm gonna add those into the design. 
by adding this small pop of color, you get a completely different look with this same tablescape. I am going to remove the gold table runner and switch it out with a soft blush pink. I love this soft blush pink because it can be used in all seasons depending on the color that you choose to pair it with. It can be paired with black, navy, green, or whatever color you may like. I did not add all six of the chargers because I did not want the table to be as crowded as it was before. As you can see here with the candle holders, they're reflecting that pink color which gives it a slightly different look. You can always add napkins to the top of your charger plates. I love how this navy blue pairs well with the soft pink. I pretty much put everything back on the table that I had with the gold runner. And as you can see here, you get a completely different look with the pink. I added some pearls to the table and I switched out the candle holders for a rose gold candle holder, which also gives you a little bit of a different look. The rose gold candle holder would also pair well with a blue runner or a green runner or some other dark solid color runner. I am removing the pink runner and I'm going to switch it out with a moss green table runner. I was pleasantly surprised by the green. I did. I saved it for last because I was thinking that it was my least favorite, but it turned out to be the most beautiful of all three, in my opinion. This green really pairs well with the gold, and I will add some blue accents in later to see how it pairs with the blue. You can see how those mirrored candles are now picking up that green color. I would probably add a menu to the charger plate in the same design as this invitation. I really love how this invitation blends well with the green and the gold and the other, other colors that are on the table. I added a vine of greenery that runs down the table. I think if you had a different color other than the green, that greenery would pop out against the table. I did not have a blue table runner, but I did take my navy blue napkins and run them down the table because I could not resist wanting to see how that blue would look with the white and the gold chargers. And I think it's absolutely stunning. I plan to record more videos like this uh, using a solid black tablecloth and also using a solid blue tablecloth. If you like what you saw in this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my page. Also leave a comment below the video letting me know what you would like to see more of in the future.